Yeah, what's up people? We're about to work out with uh, the amazing Vivian Preston for another episode of Sets Between Sets. So uh, sit back, relax, check us out. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all that good shit. Uh, and we're going to have some fun, alright? Cool. Get a pop. That's it. That's good. It hurts. I know it does. That's it. Get it. That's it. Get it. That's it, get it. It hurts, I know it does. That's it, get it. It hurts, I know it does. Yeah, I got to introduce yourself, man. Vivian Preston. Vivian Preston. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit today. Just, just something simple. You know, not the crazy. Okay. Put a little, little, little uh, chat. Get rid of this. When you come in, what do you do? Um, what is I, that? What do you call those? I do a lot of like core <laughs> stuff because I got a yeah. shitty lower yeah. back. Sorry, my lower back's all bad. Oh, I'm just, shit. When I was a kid, I was 270 uh -huh. pounds. Yeah, yeah. And I jumped off of my family's uh, uh -huh. balcony onto uh -huh. our trampoline yeah. and just smacked the ground and crushed yeah, my spine. Yeah, video? Ah. No! It was before all phones. Of all of this. Someone. All right, we're going to get it in. We're gonna be, we'll, we'll be gentle a little bit, all right? Uh, cool, let's go. If I'm on the elliptical uh -huh. for some reason, I don't, I don't break a sweat like I do. Cool. Yeah, let's get on this. Come, come to me.
Carolina. Yes, okay. you don't learn nothing right. That's the best education system in the country. I can't tell time on the right. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Really. I have to count it. I'm like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> say, oh, I'm going to go get a second master's and it, never do it, and it, but you said, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> and then never use it. <laughs> never that. use it. So just to say, God, <laughs> fuck. Where, where'd you go to school? Uh, the first school was the new school for drama, nice. and the second school was NYU, and I went to okay. Chowan University for undergrad. She won? Chowan, yeah, it's in North Carolina. Is that Asian school in North Carolina? No, it's a, it's a Native American word. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it was um, cool undergrad. I loved it. Uh -huh. uh, I was a really crappy high school kid, so Joan kind of like uh, whipped me into shape. Like chill one. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm white. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not editing anything. It <laughs> no. all goes in and then <laughs> no. bad press is good uh, press or some bullshit. I am. Uh, um, um, so, so what? You stopped and then came back. Yeah. And then, uh, and for how long? Uh, for how long did I stop? Yeah, for how, yeah, long? how long? Um, so it was like a, I was still writing like sketch. Yeah. Um, so it was like a, like a year and a half hiatus. Um, but, I, but uh, I was still writing sketch, and so I was still writing jokes. Yeah. I just, you know, didn't get on stage because I didn't have time. I had work all day and then uh, class at night. Yeah. And then uh, tell them, tell them about your your fitness process. Fitness? Oh, from yeah. from going from two seventy. Yeah. So uh, when my parents divorced when I was eight, mm -hmm. both of them didn't have time to cook like at home because mm -hmm. they would work all day. They were both single parents. Um, and so a lot of where my weight came from was from like ramen noodles. Yeah, the good stuff. Yeah, I would yeah. eat ramen noodles all the time. I would I would come home and my actual my actual routine was to come home from school and I would cook uh, myself a, a bowl of ramen noodles. I wouldn't put the flavor packet in, oh, but I would just packet? I would just put butter <laughs> and salt. Oh shit! Just nothing but butter and salt. Mix it all together. It was butter soup. No, it wasn't because you you thought you were you were being. Healthier, but or you just didn't like and, the yeah, I just didn't like the flavor. Okay. Um, and then I would make myself uh, six pieces of toast. Okay. And I would eat the ramen noodles and the six pieces of toast. Six and then when my dad would come home, we'd order pizza. I was eating so much. Yeah. And then uh, when I got to high school, I my dad uh, got a really good job out in Memphis, but he didn't want to uproot me yeah. from North Carolina my senior year. Mm -hmm. So I got to stay living in the house that he owned while he was trying to sell it and keep going to school. Yeah. But I started working because I had to pay for the lights. Because he, he paid for the everything else, but I had to keep the lights on. Yeah. Cool dad. Yeah, he was a cool dad. He trusted me, <laughs> yeah. which was not smart. In high, in high school? Yeah, in high school. Wow. I was 17. Wow. I was living on and my you own. You didn't burn the house down? No. Wow. I was a good kid. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I started working at Sears and I was on my feet for so much, yeah. I just naturally lost a little bit of weight. Okay. And I got all these compliments for it, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, I like that." Yeah. <laughs> so then I started just like educating myself on like how like how to work out, um, how to eat better, and that kind of stuff. And so over time, I just I just it took years and years and years for me to figure out what works for my body and what doesn't. Like I, I I'll have a lot of people be like, "Well, you just cut out this or you cut out that," and I'm like, "Dude, I promise you, I've tried it. I've done everything. It's been like ten years." This is as good as it gets. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. It, 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 yeah. We, that's my favorite. That's it. That's your favorite part? Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, yeah. and <laughs> were, were your parents ever active or did, or did they see you and switch? Um, or? My, my dad uh, just. Yeah. But because he enjoyed it, he started dancing. He lost yeah, a lot of weight so that we, way. Like, we, we kind of dance. Ballroom dancing. <laughs> He's a ballroom dancer. <laughs> He's really good. He's really good. He makes me look good. I guess so. It's I, I I'm a terrible dancer, but he'll get me out on the floor and I'll just look professional because he's like he knows what he knows yeah. how to lead. Holy shit. He's really good. Yeah, yeah. Are your parents still together? No. Nope. No. No. Nope. I think it's hilarious that they were ever together. Yeah. Dude. Oh, after the divorce. Yeah. After, no. Yeah. Okay. okay. It was. It was. They're such different people. Yeah. It's really funny. I'm glad. I mean, ultimately, I've told both of them this, but I'm glad that they decided to go through with the yeah. divorce because at that time, especially in North Carolina, it was like really like don't get divorced yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm glad they did because I think that if they ended up staying together they would be two very different people yeah. and we'd all all three of us would be very different yeah. I don't think you should be with anybody for more than five years yeah that, that that I think sense. I think you just you, you become a different person you change you yeah. grow yeah you know? yeah yeah absolutely people who were like married in high school and then lived together and they're like 30 I was like you've never been with anybody else yeah you know? and if, if you can change with each other then that's awesome yeah. but I you know I also I'm a Real cynic when it comes to love. I don't trust it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Love is it real? In, in love or monogamy? Um, or, or is it, uh, it's I, I I can't. Okay, so I have like this like weird brain where like half of my brain is like 
the ideas that you know Disney and everybody and like all these romantic comedies come up with for love. That's just that's just BS. It's not real. But um, that's not how real life works because there's too many like reality factors that, that change the ideal. Um, but at the same time, if I'm really into somebody, my brain won't let me like I won't I won't want anyone else, which is so weird. So it's like yeah, I'll commit, but it's. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like a wishy-washy thing where it's like, basically what I do is I'll fall for somebody and I'll be like, all right, this as long as it's good. Yeah. And then when it's not good, if they become unhappy, then yeah. I just, just you're tell right. me. Yeah. Just tell me that you're unhappy yeah. and we'll figure it out. We can still Did be friends. Did they ever friends. tell you? No! <laughs> they ever, Why don't they tell ever. me? <laughs> just, you know, and I'm, I'm friends with them, all but like two of my exes. Okay. So it's, it, I mean, I've proven in the past that like, I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to yeah. pee your car. I'm not going to go crazy. crazy. Which but uh, uh, November 13th. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio's pretty cool. They, they give you what you give them, right? Yeah. 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 That, that's really we're, in, cool. we're intense though. Yeah, you are intense. You're intense. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a team player. Yeah. Team player. Yeah. Um, uh, I think the saddest thing in a breakup ever is when two people break up and then they just can't stand to be around each other because you, then you lose all those memories that you've made. Yeah, when it gets, and they when all it gets turn, ugly. Yeah. When it gets ugly. Yeah, I, 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 I break and just don't look back. Yeah. Which is kind of fucked up. But it's, it's like, if it's over, it then works it's, for, it works it's, for a lot of people. It's over. Yeah. You know? And then move on. Yeah. I just hate that feeling of like, okay, well now everything that, like all these inside jokes that make me think of this person, am I supposed to feel bad when I make that? Inside joke later in my life, no. you know. I don't think no, so. It's a memory. Yeah, it's a nice it's memory. Yeah. Even though you can't share it. But yeah. You know, I don't know. <laughs> this got so sad. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Breakups happen. Yeah. They I, just I, happen. I um, It's just I, part of life. Yeah. I, and I don't, being able to deal with them is part of being an adult. I think it's like the biggest. Somebody's I, th- I think each one makes you better. Yeah. Like for maybe the right person. Yeah, maybe. You know? or, or better for somebody. Yeah. Be- Betty, for, be- Betty? Betty? Better Betty? Better for the next person, at better least. Better for the next person. At least. And then you learn stuff. Yeah. Do. But people don't like it when you say, oh, I learned this from my last. Do they not? Do they? I don't, I don't mind it. Like, like girls be like, oh, don't talk about your ex in front of, well, when you talk about it. But if you, There's you, a girl who's just not mature. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you can't. You've got a past too, lady. You know, yeah. like why? Why would you negate something that this person went through because it didn't involve you? How narcissistic is that? Uh, I, don't know. I, I don't. I don't believe. Not that I don't believe in monogamy. Mm. I just don't believe in marriage. I don't either. Uh, yeah. I've been married. Yeah, have you? Yeah. 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 What? Full of surprises. <laughs> And that's what you should have just opened with that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. For how long? Uh, oof, oof. Two months. Yeah? Two Wait, beautiful how, how, months. How, how old were you? I was like 20, 21. Ah, right, damn. He was like uh, 10 years older than me almost. Did you have a wedding? In, yeah. Uh, big wedding? Yeah. 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 I paid for it. Wow. Yeah. No, my, my uncle helped me. Thanks, Uncle Gene. Um, <laughs> uncle Gene helped me a lot. Um, but yeah, it was really beautiful. Yeah. And now the best part about it, uh, I feel I feel terrible because I really hurt the guy when I realized because I was too young. Yeah. And I just when you're young, a marriage doesn't you don't see what it really is. You see the fairy tale version of what it is. And you know, I I went once I was married, I was like, oh, this is it. Yeah. This is this is forever. And I realized that that's not what I wanted. And I, I actually knew that before the wedding. And I told him, uh, I told him and then retracted what I had said. So yeah. I didn't stick to my guns. If, if I had said, like, I'm not I'm sure about this, yeah. it would have been better. But I went through with the whole thing. And that, then, that should be a thing for people who don't want to get married but want a wedding. Mm-hmm. You should just be able to buy the package and be mm-hmm. like, hey, let's just go through it. And we're right? not going to be married. Yeah, I, mean, I never need to get married again. It's just a party, a wedding party. Just yeah, have a wedding, wedding party. party yeah. And then go through it and then never go sign about anything. Yeah. Never sign never anything. Never sign anything. That's what you want. You just want the experience. You want, yeah, you want the, that was, the party, the food, mm-hmm. the the, the, the fun, being yeah, being the the center of everyone's oh, world for cool. one day. It was wonderful. 
I need to market that. Yeah. Oh, wedding party. Oh, yeah. Wedding party. <laughs> wedding party. Wedding party. Wedding party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's really truly like I never want to get married again no. because I've done it. You yeah. know, I, I have I did wear the pretty dress. I did yeah. have you yeah. know. You, you, yeah. you went through it. And I was young, so I looked hot. Yeah. <laughs> hey. The dream came true, the dream and, came and, and true. now you can fucking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like like if I do if I do which I don't think I will meet somebody that I want to spend the rest of my life with forever. Yeah. Um, not not saying that that's not possible, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You will find someone I believe for you, but I like I don't I don't believe in forever because I don't think it's it's realistic. No, I'm just, I'm a very glass half not glass half empty, not glass half full, but like. At least I've got shit in my glass. Yeah. You know. I just want to drink the glass. I just want to drink it. Gotta just, just drink the water. Just drink it. Put shit in the glass. Yeah, just like, I don't care how much. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna drink I'm it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna piss it out and we're gonna drink some yeah, more. Yeah. Then I'll have another glass. <laughs> Shut up with the glass. <laughs> <laughs> um, where can they find you online? Where are you at? Um, if well, I have a band called Doll Magdalene. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a Southern Gothic band, which means that Southern. like. Yeah. Real, real quick, sing, sing like like a lyric of one of your songs. Um, uh, been in love with you since the day we met. Thought you'd realize what you had, but you ain't yet. <laughs> Kicked me out, now finally you're alone in here. I kind of hope you die that way. Oh, shit. God. That's, I didn't that's see the end. <laughs> It's light but dark. Yeah, that's what, that's what Southern Gothic is. Southern it's like country music, sense. but with really dark lyrics. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was with you. And it was like, oh. It's all upbeat like that. Shoot in the face. <laughs> There's one where like he, the first part of the song is called Two Legs, where you think she's crying about a guy who cheated on her. And then you realize throughout the course of the song that she's got him strapped to a chair in the basement. And she's oh, torturing him. Yeah. God damn. I write all these songs. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I got all these crazy songs in my head that I just need to stop. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. So, uh, uh, dollmagdalene.com. Yes. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram at dollmagdalenband.com. You can find me as a comedian yeah. on uh, whatever Instagram. Whatever. Um, and Vimy and Preston at Facebook. You can cool. look me up there. Cool. Yeah. Damn right. Uh, and my sketch group still up, uh, takeitorleaveit.com. Mm-hmm. Go check out some of our funny sketches. That's like putting my hands on the camera. They're going to see that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and your sketch is on, is that on YouTube? Or? Yeah, all of our sketches are on YouTube. If cool. you go to Take It or Leave It Comedy. Take It or Leave It. Yep. Miss Vivian Preston, thank you so much. You are the shit. Yay, that was thanks fun. for the workout. Awesome. Thank you. See you soon. Another episode of Sets Between Sets. We'll be back again. Peace. Yeah, that was another episode, Sets Between Sets. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. Um, and check us out for another round in in about a week. Uh, try to get more consistent with this. So, uh, you know, you know, it is what it is. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. So, we'll see you again soon. Peace. Get a pop. That's it. It's good. It hurts. I know it does.